It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Welcome everyone to the first show, the Mayor's Report here in Pottsville. And I'm very happy to say that we'll be starting a series called The Mayor's Report. Uh, it is uh, Mayor Dave Clues, who was just elected to the mayor of Pottsville. Uh, we're talking about, if you know Dave Clues, I've known him since 1999. Uh, he is very transparent, and he's the kind of person that tells it the way it is and is so proud of the city of Pottsville, and now he's your mayor. However, being mayor and doing things is another thing. So we figured we'll start a monthly show called The Mayor's Report to bring you information about what's happening in this great town. I happen to love Pottsville very much. I uh, love the people here, uh, and I know how Dave feels. I feel the same way about my hometown of Hazleton. Uh, when you grow up in an area, you have pride, and we'll talk a little bit about that. First of all, uh, Mr. Clues, Dave Clues, congratulations. Thank you very much, Sam, and I uh, really appreciate you being here and uh, letting people know what we're doing here in Pottsville. Well, I've said this before. You know, you're the kind of person uh, Never judge his book by its cover, that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, you're, you're an honest person. You say it the way it is. You don't play games on anybody. And very seldom do you find that in politicians. Everybody has an ulterior motive. Uh, but you, uh, I think, uh, knowing you as many years as I, I've known you, you've been up front. So with that being said, we had a show before you when you were running for mayor and you discussed different things. And uh, I know there's a lot of things that are on your plate right now. But um, when we met prior to this show, we, we talked about a couple things, okay? Um, one of the things was the most important thing is the future development of Pottsville, okay? What are, you, what are your thoughts here? Well, you know, we have a lot of things that have been happening here. Uh, we've uh, seen a lot of younger entrepreneurs take interest in our downtown. Uh, we've seen some some nice funding come in to do some projects that we're really looking forward to. Um, I, I think there's been uh, kind of, you know under under new some some newness. Uh, you know I, I'm getting a lot of really positive support and feedback. Uh, it, it, this is my first day in my office, Sam. I, you know, they've kept me so busy as I come through the halls. Uh, you know, we, we've got a lot of projects happening here. Uh, we, we're, we're looking still for a place for a hotel. We've got Alvernia come into town in a big way. Uh, you know, Yingling here, uh, our claim to fame. Uh, it, it, there's just a lot of good things progressing. In business, when you have a product that's good, you promote that product because you know you have a good product, hence Yingling, okay, um, based here in, in Pottsville. What, um, what would you think about uh, the approach of promoting the current product that you have, okay, such as Yingling and the different businesses here, because you want them to be strong. I mean, we certainly want to have a development, we want projects coming in, but I know like when I was in Hazleton and now that we've moved our offices to the Laurel Mall, not because we didn't like Hazel, but just it was just the building was too big for us. But however, we always, I always try to promote our own people and then that was an encouragement to bring other people in. Your thoughts on that? Oh, exactly. I mean, you know, there, I know there's sometimes uh, those who, uh, you know, like to say there's so much more to Pottsville than Yingling Brewery, and, and I agree there is. We have a lot of great neighborhoods, a lot of great architecture, a uh, great school system here, our, our tourism is building more, and, and when it really comes down to it, you know, it's Yingling. We have America's oldest brewery right here in Pottsville, PA, my hometown. Uh, I, I think we'd be foolish to be looking and, and not acknowledging they're here and not being glad they're here. And uh, I, I think the more we let people know exactly how many people come and visit the brewery every year will attract other businesses, which again, uh, you know, attracts people who are gonna wanna buy homes, uh, realize, uh, you know, the tradition is here. We're America's oldest brewery here in Pottsville. That, that says a lot about tradition and, and the neighborhoods and, and how Pottsville's been, been established. Well, I've had the, uh, the pleasure of meeting uh, Dick uh, and his family, and I gotta tell you, they're uh, honorable people. 
Uh, they're sincere people, and they're all for the communities that they're involved with, and, and that's great. Um, looking at the development of downtown, the downtowns today have their concerns. Uh, I know any downtown I go into, you, you see meters. You try to get a parking place. You try to get into the store. Then you, 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 you can't get a place. You finally get a place. You put a quarter in or whatever. You run into the place for business, and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're involved. You come out, bingo, you get a ticket, okay? Very frustrating. And so what happens then is that I'm not coming down here anymore. I, it doesn't make any sense for me to do this, okay? Um, these are the extreme situations. I mean, I know you don't have a magic wand, Dave, and if you come up with a, a solution for this, Believe me, you should be the governor, okay? <laughs> what, what, what are your thoughts to leave and to help some of these businesses downtown, restaurants or whatever? Well, you know, we, we all know, you know, parking's always a favorite word comes up, especially here in the city of Pottsville, uh, since we changed from a, a metered system and, and still partially metered to app. Uh, we, know, we know the citizens that typically shop downtown can, uh, you know, be more on the on the senior side of things. May not have a smartphone to deal with that. Uh, we know where we've come from, and two since we went to the app system, uh, not everybody happy, and pro probably not everybody always will. Uh, I'm glad to say that I've been able to you know so far reasonably talk to the people at the parking authority and uh, others uh, affected by it. So you know, at least we're all admitting that there's things we need to work on. Uh, <clears throat> we're looking for solutions. We realize how important it is for the businesses to have a friendly environment. Uh, we also understand that you know, parking is a business. There's parking lots have to be maintained and so on. Sure. Yeah. But I, I think there can be a balance and some looks at other solutions to make it all work easier. Uh, there, undoubtedly, we got off to a really rocky start. It just kind of appeared one day, uh, was talked about, and then was here, and which created, I think, a lot of initial negative reaction. And uh, we've dealt with that the best we could, you know, tried to patch things up and make things work. And I'm looking forward as mayor continuing that to try and, you know, I'm a retailer. I'm a retailer with a parking lot, yes, so yeah. I, I, you know, I can sympathize. I, I'm not right there, you know, with meters in front of my place, but I understand as long as I've been with the business association, how challenging parking has always been in Pottsville, metered or not, spaces available. We can go on and on, and the app has added kind of another level of frustration, but. We're going we're gonna to work through that and try and come up with reasonable solutions. Some suggestions. Um, when you're looking at <coughs> permit parking, <coughs> excuse me, and you have incentives. Sometimes if you, um, you, know, you're, you know you're dealing with um, businesses in downtown Pottsville or whatever and they have meters, um, there's an opportunity for a person, a lay person, to buy a, a parking permit. Maybe it's $15 or maybe it's $20 or whatever. Uh, they use that permit when they park, okay, and of course it's something that it's limited, but however when you go into the place of business, they in turn may say if you have a parking permit, we'll give you a certificate of 5% off a product or, or whatever. Different incentives to have to know that, you know, that you've had a fee and it'd be a reasonable fee. Just, a, 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 you know, you're talking about opportunities and solutions. So parking fees and incentives from the various businesses Really, really, I think would help. It's a challenge, though. I, I oh, I, absolutely. I, you know, I said I've been involved with the business association so long, and and no matter what it is, parking is always, always a challenge. Uh, I, I think what we all need to keep in mind is, you know, that we all need to work together on it. You said about parking passes. They did that years ago. Unfortunately, they just got bootlegged a lot, and that became an issue. Is that uh, right? Yeah. That, you know, because you know, it's kind of an almost an obvious solution. Gee, what if we just had hang tags, parking permits? That's great until you find out you're going down the street and there's number 1,246 four different times Yeah. because yeah. somebody's making copies and they're out there. Uh, we know that, and, and those are the things I think we can all work for, forward and try and solve. Yeah, and, and the business incentive 
is is important too. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes the, the, the new innovations they have, you know, stickers on the car. Like you go to hospitals, they have certain things for right. the doctors, etc. Folks, I'm talking to Mayor Dave Clues, 12 vote Dave as we know him, uh, and we're starting the show called the Mayor's Report. Um, very seldom do you have an opportunity of speaking to your mayor, finding out what's going on, other than sometimes rumor mills or people who don't like somebody and there's agendas and stuff like that. You hear all these false things. We're hearing it right now as they say from the horse's mouth. Dave Clues is a person who's been transparent as long as I've known him, and that's over maybe 20-some years. We'll be back right after this. Well, welcome back to uh, the Sam LaSant Show, The Mayor's Report. Uh, we're here at the mayor's office in downtown Pottsville, at City Hall. Uh, we're talking to uh, the newly elected mayor, David Clues, who is, um, has a lot of ambition for the city of, Hazel, uh, city of Pottsville. And most especially, he is extremely proud of this town, as you can tell from the many years that you may know him. Um, the development, we talked about the future development of Pottsville. Um, train tourism, when we talked before, I was like really surprised to hear train tourism, which I think is exciting. Tell me about that. Oh, we're, yeah, we are excited. You know, uh, uh, we have Union Station down there, beautiful building, train tracks coming up into it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, a, a lot of great things here for people to tour in Pottsville. So uh, this past year, they ran three different trips uh, coming up out of Reading. Uh, each one a little more successful and, and educated the group uh, that's been putting it together a little more. And uh, this coming year, there are it's either 11 or 13 uh, train trips coming from Reading into Pottsville. Uh, and then there'll be a, a shorter one available. Those people will typically get off. We have the local Molly Trolley, as it's called, uh, tour bus kind of thing, uh, trolley car looking that takes them from the train station to Yingling Brewery, Yingling Mansions, Google Historical Society, uh, Jerry's Museum, uh, Black Rock, and a couple of our other uh, new uh, restaurants here. Uh, they have a tour guide while they're on the trolley telling them some history and pointing yeah. out things about Pottsville. Uh, we're we're really excited about it, and uh, you know we're or have have learned each time, and the numbers have grown each time. You know, Dave, it, it brings me back um, when when Mayor Riley was here, who I thought was uh, is a great great person and was a fabulous mayor. I, I I never met his son, but I understand his son was just as good as um, as John was. But we did a tour, uh, just a simple tour from we started here at City Hall, and we walked down Center Street. And as we're walking down, he was explaining different things about the statues, etc. And it was a it was a real. And that, we're just talking Center Street, and, yeah. and all the experience and and you know uh, that you're able to learn about a city. And I think this train, what you're telling me, is a lot more than just going down Center Street. Correct? Oh yeah, yeah. They you know they're they're going down Center Street. They're going up Montunga Street, and uh, you know the, where a lot of the more historic home, homes are in Pottsville. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're working with the Schuylkill County Historical Society to uh, educate our ambassadors. It'll be you know on the trolley and at different places to uh, you know give them some history and, and what Pottsville came from and is today. Well, you mentioned some of the key things. So uh, they'll leave Hazel um, Pottsville. I keep saying Hazel than Pottsville, and then move to Reading or, or, or uh, uh, they come. They the train starts in Reading, comes to Pottsville. Right. Uh, the people that come up from Reading are then, you know, they're, they're divided up and moved to different locations uh, okay. because, you know, uh, like the Yingling Brewery Tour can only do so many at a time. So we work it so it's staggered. They all have something to do while they're here. So while they're departed from the train and the train is sitting here, a shorter excursion is done from Pottsville on some of the local railroad lines oh, around here yeah. for a shorter excursion. You know, there's there's nothing like you know, train tracks for viewing an area because oh, yeah. they're, they're in places that you can't drive yes. to and most people wouldn't walk to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so again, there's guides on the train telling them that they're, you know, by the Schuylkill Canal in this area and wow. some of the history. So 
Uh, it, it's it's been getting more I, exciting all the time. I'm going to um, I'm going to set one of those up, and I'd like to take my son and we'll do like I do a, an actual show as we're as we're touring the different places. I think that'd be very interesting. Well, that'd be great. We're we're also working, you know, with the the chamber uh, Schuylkill Chamber of Commerce. We always have all the local businesses uh, associations together, and we've been talking about even doing something, uh, maybe a special one that would involve just the anthracite coal area, like from here to Monnoy City, Monnoy City, uh, drop down into Tamaqua, Tamaqua to Orgsburg, Schuylkill Haven, around. Because uh, again, you know, a lot of old coal history oh, here and would be another really exciting thing to do. Oh my, Reading anthracite, Gilbert to coal. I mean, uh, the rich family then brought thousands of jobs to this area. It's uh, it's just amazing. I, I'm excited about that. I really oh, am. Oh, we are too. Yeah. The, um, I, I remember when I was a kid, a patrol boy, we used to go on the trains in Hazleton down to Philadelphia. And it was always an experience, you know, going down. And we're talking, well, let's see, I'm 50. Going down for a baseball game. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I was on the safety patrol here in Potsdam exactly. in, in the fifth grade. And, and you're older than me, too. I, I didn't know that. You, you know, oh. He's 15 years older than me. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. 15. No, we had a lot. And it was a lot of fun. They provide you sandwiches, oh, et cetera. Yeah. You know, and I could imagine coming here and doing that train tourism. And here again, it's, it's part of what you're doing in, in, in developing some tourism. There is a contest um, that we discussed on my show a couple of times called Launch Pottsville Contest. Um, and I know you're very active with that, okay? I think they're, where are they at with this right now? Uh, they're, they're entering into, I believe it is stage two right now. They, they had uh, the initials, I'll say screening and interviews. Uh, they've matched up those that they have moved uh, forward with uh, different mentors to help them write business plans and so on and to do a presentation. We've got 11 entrepreneurs interested in putting a, bot a business here in Pottsville, which is very exciting. That, you know, uh, that's that's uh, fabulous. When, when you have that kind of interest. That's right. And, yep. and one of your problems is you start looking around going, gee, uh, if if they're all successful, where we find an 11 storefronts, yeah. uh, you know, which is a good problem to have. It, it's exciting to hear that people see uh, the positive part of where Pottsville is going. And you know, the, the, the thing that happens, my friends, is that there's more activity in, in your city. Um, tax revenue comes up. Uh, people are more and people are employed and it's it's it you know with the services you know can increase in terms of fire police etc and uh, at one point in time I'd like to talk about your fire department and police department oh, absolutely okay the, the, the great job that they do absolutely you can't you can't thank those people enough for no. what they do okay um, but um, this train tourism I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I really am I think it'll do well we come back there's something that Dave and I talked about, <clears throat> excuse me, the development of second floor and above quality living space at an historic, a historic area. And so what does this mean for the people of Pottsville? I'm excited, I'm pretty, this was interesting. We're gonna take a break, we'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the San Lasanti Show, folks. This is the first of the uh, Mayor's Report uh, I'm here at City Hall in Pottsville talking to newly elected Mayor Dave Clues. You all know him as 12 Old Dave. And we had the previous discussions and talked about transparency. You know, we hear all these politicians talking, I'm transparent, and they're lying to you, my friends. They lie to you. This guy doesn't lie. He has been around a long time. When he says it's transparent, believe me when I tell you it's transparent. And that's why I decided that we should have a mayor's report every month to find out what's happening in this great town of Pottsville. When we discussed a couple things, you talked about the development of second floor and above quality living space. Tell me about that. You know, Sam, one of the things that, you know, as, as we've done studies over the years on how to take the city of Pottsville forward, one of the things we found was that there is a, a need and a desire for living space that are in the downtown historic district. Uh, there's a whole generation that don't want to cut grass and shovel snow or own property, but they would like a nice living space. Uh, you know, and more along the lines of almost at, at home rates as far as monthly fees go. They want something nicer. They want to be able to walk downstairs, go out front, go to a local restaurant, uh, brew pub, 
uh, whatever entertainment they like, it's right there. They don't have to get in their car and drive off. Uh, we've had a lot of people come into the area up in the High Ridge area with all the distribution centers, uh, bringing people in from all over the country. Not all want to be homeowners, want a nice place to live because they also know they might be here at High Ridge for a while and then their company moves them to a bigger location and don't need the headaches of having to sell property all the time. One of the problems when you get into that <clears throat> in historic districts is making sure that the upper levels of buildings are safe. We, we've seen some horrendous apartment fu building fires lately in, you know, in the Philadelphia area and New York and so on. Sad. So as we develop these things, you know, we want property owners and those investing to keep that in mind. We want to find solutions that work and we can achieve these goals of, you know, right now I think we're looking to try and do 30 units uh, in the greater downtown area in some uh, upper floor development. Uh, we've got the local you know, senators and other representatives involved. Uh, they found some funding to help us look at different ways to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, we think it's you know, a very positive thing. Uh, we all want to you know, do this and do it right. That's what's most important to us, you know, as, hey, we have great living space and it's safe. None of us, none of us <laughs> myself as mayor, want to be the two mayors we've seen lately having to make a report over, you know, tremendous loss of life. Yeah. So uh, we know there's a demand. We know the obstacles that it involves when you have historic buildings. And uh, there's, there's a real positive movement to show people that it's viable, workable, and the city of Pottsville wants to be there and help them with that success. You said many times when uh, off camera that you are very proud of this city, okay? And my friends, I got to show you this. I, f I find this exciting. Uh, Dave recently uh, had a meeting or a grouping uh, uh, get together with all the city employees and came up with this, okay? Um, you get that, Sam? Okay. Uh, I think this is great, okay? And I got about a minute left. Pottsville, it's about pride. Tell me, tell the audience what you told them about pride. When, when uh, you know, as I ran for this position, it, it was all, I'm very proud of Pottsville. So when I got all my, my new teammates together here to uh, kind of celebrate and get to know me a little better, uh, I was wearing that shirt underneath the uh, sweater, which by the way, you'll see me in a lot. I know they secretly call me the mayor who wears sweaters. Mm -hmm. You won't see me in a suit and tie too often unless it's very official. <laughs> and Notice I, how and I dressed I, up today. And I need the clever disguise. So uh, <laughs> anyhow, I had, had that shirt on and I, I told all my team here that, uh, listen, at the end of the day, I'm very proud of my city. It's why I'm doing what I'm doing as mayor. The only thing I asked them was to be proud of the city of Pottsville. And at the end of the day, when you get up from your day of work, say, I'm proud of what I did for the city today. And if we can all do that, we can have a very positive future here in Pottsville. And I'm more than happy to be mayor. And I'm looking forward to uh, continuing that pride and sharing it. Well, uh, um, first of all, I thank you for agreeing to do a monthly mayor's ring and, and sometimes like I said a lot of politicians talk about transparency but then when they hide they don't want to answer the questions uh, Dave's opened up uh, too big to hide well that's that's <laughs> true uh, Dave's opened up for constructive uh, comments of uh, I, I would assume uh, and remember folks uh, on Comcast 190 we're on every day from 7 to 11 p.m. it's Comcast 190 uh, we could you could watch the show on our website 24 7 ssptv.com I want to thank all of you uh, and uh, here in the uh, Pottsville area, greater Pottsville area, uh, who have tuned us in and continue to tune us in. I know we were on Channel 7 and now we're up at 190, but however, um, we got a tremendous viewership and we appreciate that making this show, the Sam LaSanne Show, the number one talk show in Northeastern Pennsylvania. I appreciate that. My email is sam at ssptv.com. Always willing to get comments. If you have any questions for the mayor, uh, clues that is, um, please um, email me and we'll try to get them to you. We'll see you next time. Thank you.